hello everyone today we are going to discuss about different types of icing first of all let me explain you about icing well icing or frosting is a sweet often creamy glaze made up of sugar with a liquid such as water or milk that is often enriched with ingredients like butter egg whites cream cheese or flavorings it is used to cover or decorate baked goods such as cakes or cookies when it is used between layers of cake it is called filling Icing can be formed into shapes such as flowers and leaves using a pastry bag. Such decorations are commonplace on birthday and wedding cakes. Generally speaking, there are only four types of icing. They are fondant icing, buttercream icing, foam type icing, flat icing. Icing can be applied with a utensil such as knife or spatula or it can be applied by drizzling or dipping or by rolling the icing out and draping it over the cake the method of application largely depends on the type and texture of icing being used icing may be used between layers in a cake as a filling or it may be used to completely or partially cover the outside of a cake or other baked products well today we are going to discuss about some of the few common icing which are used in bakery buttercream icing buttercream is Buttercream icing is made by blending sugar and egg yolk together till they become light and fluffy. Then unsalted cream butter is mixed into the egg yolk mixture. Buttercream can be blended with a number of flavors like fruits, chocolates, praline, etc. Buttercream icing is always stored in the refrigerator. Outside the refrigerator at room temperature so buttercream may get melt so extra precaution must be taken fresh cream icing fresh cream icing is made from heavy cream or you can call double cream well sugar and cream along with almond extract are creamed together till the texture becomes light and fluffy more air is incorporated inside the cream the cream is whisked till that stage where the cream can hold a stiff peak after that the cream is stored in the refrigerator fondant icing well fondant icing is one of the most important icing used in bakery it not only used for glaze purpose but it also improves the attractiveness of bakery products to make the fondant icing simply boil together sugar and water then add the liquid glucose and remove it when the temperature reaches to 115 degrees celsius cool it to 65 with the help of wooden spatula and store in the refrigerator to reuse it you can again reheat till the temperature goes to 38 degree and you can add color according to your wish marzipan icing marzipan icing is used to cover the sponge cake as you can see in the picture Well marzipan icing is very simple and used at large scale these days in bakery to make it beat together egg and caster sugar till they become stiff add almond paste lime juice and mix then combine icing sugar almond flour to make firm texture this can be used to cover cakes and mousse you can also make fancy decorative pieces like rose animals vegetable etc on top of marzipan any type of decorative items can be used royal icing well royal icing is made by icing sugar egg white and lime juice different colors can also be used according to the product or dish that you are making well to make royal icing first you beat together egg white and icing sugar till they become light and smooth then add few drops of lemon juice and continue whisking till you get a smooth paste royal icing is often confused with meringue well meringue and royal icing looks similar but royal icing is little more looser than meringue now moving on to meringue well meringue is made with icing sugar and egg white along with lime juice lime juice is an optional it can be used or it cannot be used it depends upon the chef icing sugar and egg white are used in the ratio of 2 is to 1 to make meringue just beat together 
icing sugar and egg white till you get stiff peaks meringue can be used in cookies it can be mixed with buttercream in desserts even you can use meringue as a garnish well there are three types of meringue french meringue which is generally baked in the oven italian meringue in italian meringue hot syrup is poured on top of fresh meringue and with the help of spatula the meringue is mixed till we get smooth texture swiss meringue sugar and egg white are whisked together over a double boiler till we get smooth texture well ganache ganache plays a major role these days for garnishing or icing the cakes to make the ganache only two ingredients are used first one is chocolate then cream to make ganache first you have to temper the chocolate over the double boiler taking care of that that the temperature does not exceeds 50 degree celsius at 50 degree the chocolate may get split then after that once the chocolate gets melt you can add cream to get a smooth paste gelatin can be used for extra glaze and to set the chocolate as a layer on the sponge well ganache is a mixture of chocolate and cream which can be used to make truffles and other chocolate candies or as a filling in cakes and pastries the texture of the ganache depends on the type of cream and chocolate you are using well beside this there are many other types of icing which can be used or are used in bakery like fondant molding paste continental butter cream confectioner custard american frosting caramel frosting fuzz icing glazed icing well each icing has its own role but today we were only discussing about the icing which are generally used for decorating and for uh, cakes and products thank you